Hi everyone, um, I'm Franco Manglambam from the Center for Nanotechnology, IIT Guwahati. Um, I'll be sharing uh, the general safety, which is followed at uh, Clean Room Class 100 and 1000 at IIT Guwahati. So this is the outline of my presentation. Um, as we all know that uh, working in a clean room requires careful attention to safety accuracy and the ethical consideration. So in this talk, I'll be highlighting the importance of clean room. Uh, I'll be sharing the safety procedures at IIT Guwahati, um, uh, including pre-entry preparation, uh, clean room governing protocol, so which will be in video, and the safety during emergency. Um, I also will be sharing some of the do's and don'ts um, in clean room. So, clean room is a place where uh, controlled concentration of uh, airborne particles are kept um, in order to minimize the introduction, generation and retention of particles inside the room. So, by maintaining certain parameters such as temperature, uh, humidity, pressure, lighting, vibration, uh, sound, etc. as necessary. So, at IIT Guwahati, uh, we have clean room class 100 and uh, class 1000. Um, so class 100 includes uh, uh, the equipment which are mainly used for lithography processes such as Marx Writer, uh, FASM attached with EBN uh, and also attached with EDX. Uh, we also have double-sided Marx Aligner uh, UB box and spin coater and small equipment such as uh, uh, a hot plate and so on. So class 1000 uh, houses mainly the deposition equipment such as thermal evaporation, organic evaporator, RF magnetron sputtering, RIE, PECVD, uh, e-spin and uh, recently we have shifted laser micro machining uh, which is LMM. Okay, so um, now what is the need of the clean room? Um, in general, uh, people and machinery produce millions of particles that cannot be seen with our naked eyes. Uh, conventional building materials easily break up. Uh, and then in our day-to-day -day life, uh, you know, the air we breathe has about like 35 million particles in cubic meter with an estimated size of 0. 5 micron. So the particles which is smaller than uh, 10 micron do not feel gravity. So it floats around and then um, you know it attracts to the uh, surface electro electrostatically and then it is uh, very difficult to remove them. So a clean room controls this uh, dispersion and allows uh, manufacturing or, or any R&D activities uh, you know to be carried out in a clean environment. So, which will definitely improve the yield and then uh, increase the profits. So, the FASM image uh, on the right hand side shows uh, the tiny particles, um, you know, on the uh, 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 memory memory chip, so which are a big trouble. Yeah, so now the biggest culprit is uh, people yeah from uh, this so the particulates released by the part uh, by the people is uh, higher than those of the equipment or process or handling or ESD or uh, the materials sorry um, and the the FASM images shows uh, how dirty is our personal belongings such as uh, the necklace we wear and then uh, the tip of the ballpoint writer and the, the the bottom image shows um, a piece of nail polish on uh, the RAM chip. Yeah, so a few more examples of how dirty is, uh, you know, the inner inside ring of uh, the, the, the uh, yeah, finger ring. And then uh, the image also shows uh, the flakes of the skin and the the hairspray uh, of the hair. So per day, uh, 
a person sets, uh, you know, like a millions, a billions of skin cells. Um, uh, yeah. So which we uh, need to uh, follow proper guidelines and protocols uh, before enter uh, before entering to the clean room. So these are the pre-entry preparation um, in which the personal items which are not allowed into the clean rooms include food, drink, sweets and chewing gum, uh, cans or uh, bottles. Smoking materials are not allowed. Headphones, cell phones are also not allowed. But however, um, at IIT Guwahati, so we allow them by wiping with ethanol. Uh, newspapers, magazines, books and the paper handkerchiefs are not allowed. Pencils and eraser are also not allowed. Uh, wallet purses or other similar items are uh, not allowed. Yeah, so before entering the clinic, in Rome, we should maintain a good level of personal hygiene by uh, doing proper uh, water shower uh, before coming to the clean room. And then anything added to the body is considered as a contaminant, um, such as cosmetics, talcum powder, and hairspray, nail polish, etc. are not allowed. So as we have seen uh, earlier that the jewelries or watches you know, are the main um, you know, contaminants, so they are not allowed. However, um, wedding or engagement rings can be allowed uh, after washing with water carefully. Um, so where the rings are liable to puncture the glow, uh, you know, they should be tapped over. Uh, smokers produce more particles from their mouth than the normal uh, people. So, uh, um, you know, uh, the users should not smoke uh, for several hours before entering the clean room. Uh, drinking a glass of water before entering the clean room is also recommended. Yeah, so this is the clean room gowning protocol, so which will be shown uh, in a video. So after this talk, uh, I'll just briefly uh, browse through this. So first is uh, a hair net, and then we wear the foot cover, uh, uh, followed by uh, the slippers for the unclassified area. And then we go for the first air shower, <clears throat> and then walk through the unclassified area, uh, the corridor, and then leaving the slippers before entering the um, uh, air lock one or air shower two. Um, this is an uh, air lock area, so we should always close the first door before opening the next door, and then uh, we go to the second air shower. Um, so this is a changing room. Uh, so we take the coverall gown from the hanger in garment cubicle, and then we zip it up, uh, you know, up to the neck, and then close the velcro. Um, and then we put on a booty by sitting on a crossover bench. And then uh, we wear appropriate pairs of gloves. And then uh, we make sure that we walk on the sticky mat before entering class 100 and 1000 through air log 2 channel.
So this is the full kit of the gowning. Uh, we have hoodie, safety glass, mask, gloves, coverall, booty, and the, uh, we should make sure that we walk on the sticky mat. Yeah, so we also follow uh, uh, certain protocols, as I mentioned earlier, uh, such as wiping with ethanol for any sample container or tray before taking inside a clean room. Uh, if we want to take down the notes, uh, we use clean room compatible in free papers. Um, yeah, so if we want to clean the tools or equipment, we, we or yeah, we use lint free wipes um, uh, or floor or any breakdown or accident in the logbook. Yeah, so these are some of the clean room discipline. Uh, the image shows the comparative particle states per minute uh, when compared with uh, sitting quietly, moving or you know walking. So inside the clean room, we should uh, not run around hastily, uh, you know, if it is not necessary. Uh, yeah, some more clean room discipline. We should not uh, hold the chemical around our uh, arms. We should always, uh, the second image shows that uh, uh, the user is not wearing gloves, so we should always wear the gloves. And then, um, yeah, so third image shows, uh, you know, uh, the user is only covering the mouth, so we should always uh, cover both mouth and the nose with mask. So during the uh, emergency situation, uh, such as a fire hazard or evacuation situation, so we have uh, emergency exits, both at uh, class 100 and 1000. Um, we also have first aid box just next to the, the uh, emergency exit. And then we have uh, air shower, uh, sorry, water shower and eye wash. Uh, uh, just next to the, uh, the the emergency exit and then uh, uh, there is a uh, assembly point exit which is shown on the uh, left hand side yeah so <clears throat> these are some of the do's while walking in a clean room so we should always plan our work uh, before starting any experiments by carefully understanding the protocol so we should also uh, make sure that uh, which equipment we will be using and the the potential hazard. Uh, we should handle the chemicals carefully by using proper uh, PPE. Uh, we, we should use the chemicals in a few mode when necessary. Um, yeah, so we should always add acids to water, not the other way around, in order to minimize the splattering. Uh, we should also avoid testing or smelling chemicals. Um, yeah, so regarding disposal of uh, waste, so we should follow, uh, you know, the clean room protocol. Um, yeah, so different types of the waste, such as chemical, biological or uh, radioactive, have a specific disposal uh, requirements. Yeah, so we should always ask the question, um, you know, to the knowledgeable colleague or in charge uh, of the facilities. So it is better to ask questions than to make mistakes. Uh, so we should report accident, incident or near miss to the in charge. So don't hesitate to seek uh, medical attention if necessary. Yeah, so these are some of the don'ts while working in a clean room. Uh, we should not drink or eat uh, as contamination risks are very high uh, in the clean room. So we should avoid uh, rushing through the experiments. Hest can lead to errors, accident or incomplete data. Uh, we should not ignore safety procedures, protocols and guidelines. Uh, ignoring safety procedure can lead to uh, accident or uh, injuries. So we should not play around, uh, run around, you know, as the clean room is a serious environment. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, as already mentioned, we should not store food or personal items like bags, backpacks in a clean room. 
um, in order to prevent contamination and they maintain a sterile environment. Um, so last but most importantly, we should uh, not forget to wash our hands thoroughly after working in a lab in order to avoid potential uh, contamination 